Hi gang. Today we're going to be going over Freud's defense mechanisms, which are mishandling of stress in your ego. According to Freud, a healthy person operates in their ego, ego where they manage their id, their super ego, and the reality of the situation. However, even if you're in your ego, you may not be handling the reality of the situation very effectively. Those are his defense mechanisms. Used temporarily, not a problem. We all do it. Used as a way of living, real problem. First one, repression, which according to Freud is involuntarily forgetting. Your mind decides something is too painful and your mind decides you're no longer going to remember it. Uh, just like the gentleman in the riot gear kind of trying to force it down and away and hidden. For Freud, this is the defense mechanism, the master defense mechanism. Rationalization, this is where you replace an unacceptable reason with a more socially acceptable reason, uh, such as with the one cartoon where, well, I screwed up my diet and it's a Wednesday, so I can't really fix my diet now. Everyone knows you have to wait until Monday to really start a diet. Yeah, that's not such an acceptable reason. Um, people use it, though. Displacement. Displacement is when you move a dangerous emotion from an unsafe situation to a safe situation, such as the picture there on the left where the boss is yelling at the lady. She's probably upset, she's probably angry. She can't really yell back at him. However, when she gets home, she can yell at her children because that's a safe place for her to yell. It's not like the kids are gonna fire her from being mom. Sublimation is when you replace an unacceptable behavior with a socially acceptable behavior. Like on the, far, on the left picture with Muhammad Ali, boxing. He may in reality wanna punch everyone around him that's not acceptable. That will get you sent to jail. However, in the boxing ring, the man was amazing. The picture on the right uh, is a man painting a female body, which is a career in various places in California and Las Vegas. Sublimation, in reality, what he may want to do is go up and touch women, which again, will get him arrested. Uh, but it is socially acceptable to have a career where you're painting naked women with an airbrush. So replace unacceptable with acceptable. Uh, projection. Whose fault is it that you messed up or failed? Oh, it's not your fault. Of course, it's someone else's fault. That's projection. You blame your shortcomings on other people. Uh, the reason why I can't get this job done is because the person next to me is playing their music too loud. The reason why I can't pass this test is because the teacher hates me. Again, it's never your fault that something went wrong. It's always someone else's fault. Reaction formation. This one can be a little confusing. Basically, what you feel deep down inside, that hidden desire, is very scary to you. So in order to cope and manage with that scariness, you act completely opposite consciously in public. The picture on the left, this is classic. Little boys pulling on little girl's hair. Does that mean he doesn't like the little girl? No, it means he really likes her. Same thing, little girls talking about, oh, he's such a jerk. In reality, does she think he's a jerk? Nah, she really likes him. That's where uh, the condescending Wonka meme over there with me thinks the lady doth protest too much. That indicates we think that what the person is saying is completely opposite of what they're feeling. That's reaction formation. Denial. Now you're deliberately failing to acknowledge reality. With repression, your mind decides you're not gonna deal with reality. With denial, you know the reality is there, you simply choose to ignore it. Those of you who are interested in the medical field or are in the medical field, you're very familiar with denial. Plenty of people are like, oh no, I don't have this disorder. I don't have to take care of myself. And then they get incredibly ill because of denial. Regression. This defense mechanism says we act younger 
in order to cope with what is stressing us out. Not at all uncommon for three, four, five-year-olds who are capable of using the bathroom on their own, capable of feeding themselves, can go to bed at night with nothing but a stuffed animal. All of a sudden, there's a new baby in the house. That's a new stress. All of a sudden, the child has issues with the bathroom. All of a sudden, the child has to go to bed with their binky and suck on their thumb and, and their blankie. All of a sudden, they can't feed themselves. They need mommy or daddy to feed them. It's acting younger. Uh, it's also an issue with older people. A significant number of older people, instead of facing the fact that there are physical changes coming, they decide to dress younger. They decide to act younger in order to deal with the stress that's coming. And all of these are defense mechanisms, according to Freud. It's how we handle stress when we're in our ego, but all of these are destructive to us. So, thanks. Bye.